Chewy B here, and this is my How to Make an RPG Part 2. Let's go. Okay, we got three blocks here. Uh, this is the class block to pick your class. This is the experience block to test it, t test your uh, your variables and your leveling up. And this is the leveling up block. Uh, I have the I have the um, system. So when you turn in ten levels of exp, you gain one level. So let me show you how this works. So you pick barbarian, whichever one you want. And what that does is. So when you die, you get Barbarian default loot. Now to uh, level up, you gain 10 levels. So I got 100 here. Test. Go here. Go click on level 1. All right. Uh, I gained a heart. So uh, you can make it so you can put any attribute uh, that's available in Minecraft in the command slot in the procedure and I'll show you that once I get into M creator but this works pretty well so if you kill yourself you still have the heart left so you can build hearts up by leveling up or other attributes and let me show you how I did this in M creator all right back in M creator I will be leaving this workspace in the description in the for download all right, so to do the leveling up, uh, the experience block is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Right-click on the block, you get 100 EXP. That's for testing purposes. I'll leave this in here. You probably want to remove that when you're done with the RPG. Just delete that. Um, now to the leveling up. Now you want to make a block, or you can use a GUI. So they can hold down like the home key or whatever key, and they can level up through there. Or you, you can make a a block, or or you can make something that would spawn in a structure. Uh, that will work too. You can make a block look like a villager. That's what I do. Okay. Uh. So for the leveling up, here's the GUI. You want to make a GUI just like this. I mean, not just like this. You want to make it better than this actually, <laughs> but uh. This is just for uh, tutorial purposes here. So, all right, this is where it gets a little complicated. So, you want to go to variables, and you want to make a new variable called level, and you want to make it persistent and number. Let me make sure it's zero, and then. Um, what this does is it checks to make sure the level is zero equals zero and to make sure the player has 10 levels of experience then it removes the 10 levels of experience it uh, sets the level to one and then it will execute this command which gives the uh, player health which you can use lots of you can use this command uh, you can use a change almost any attribute pretty much uh, that's as it's in Minecraft and then it sends a message and then it also plays a sound uh, I use the chicken sound but I, I suggest using a better one and then it closes the uh, GUI that's what it does when you hit the button now to regain health when you die I made this so player respawns event trigger and then it checks the level make sure whatever level you got is one so the players level one it will give them the heart back you have to do this for each level so if you have a level uh, one two let's make one right now actually let's make a level two button so let's duplicate this level two Duplicate this. Level two. Death. Go here. Open up level one. Level two. I'm sorry. Now you want to change this to one. So they're checking to see if it's they're level one. They're going to turn in the uh, exp to get level two. 
And once they turn the EXP in, you'll change them to level two. Uh, this needs to set you set to two because two equals one heart. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. I'm sorry. That needs to be set to 24, not 22. So you, uh, you add an extra heart, 24. Change the message. Two. And save. I go into the uh, the level two death procedure. Make that two. Change this twenty two to twenty four. Save. Now go to your uh, level up GUI. Go to two. Open on button clicked. Go to uh, level two. Save. Yeah, they can't spam these either. So once they click them once, they're, it's just only going to give it to them one time. Um, okay. Let's see if it works. All right, here we are back in the game. Um, see if this block works. Oops. Yeah. All right, level two. There we go. Level two button works. Now if I kill myself. I still have two uh hearts left. Works works like a charm. Alright, um if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will try to help you through this RPG mess. Uh the variables can get very complicated. You can have just so much variables that your head will spin. So you want to keep it a little bit simple. Uh, like I said, I'm leaving the workspace in the description below for download. If this helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. And that's it. See you next time.